Seed Germination Process by Lovlina Rajiv. I found this on website buzzle.com, B-U-Z-Z-L-E.com. Most plant life starts from the humble seed. Life begins from the seed for all plants alike. To reproduce itself and evolve with time is what a seed offers to the ecosystem, and many trees, plants, and flowers bear witness to this fact. A seed is basically a kernel that encloses in itself a small embryonic plant covered by a hard seed coat and some stored food that upon receiving the appropriate climate conditions will promote growth. The seed is the ripened ovule or egg fertilized product of gymnosperm and angiosperm plants. This is the end product of the pollination process in which the embryo develops from the zygote and the seed coat from the outer covering of the ovule. The ability to consistently and successfully reproduce itself makes trees and plants that use their seeds for propagating themselves have a higher survival rate than the ones which rely on cuttings, runners, shoots, or rhizomes. Let us understand this amazing ability by reading through the germination process. Seed Germination Process The seed contains an immature plant, called an embryo, that resembles an adult plant, complete with leaves and a root. The seed's leaves are called the cotyledons. Seeds that contain one embryonic leaf are known as monocotyledons, or monocots. Seeds with two embryonic leaves are termed dicotyledons, or dicots. The food found in the seed, which nourishes the embryonic seedling during the early stages of development, is known as the endosperm. There are certain basic steps of seed germination. For a seed to germinate successfully, first, the right conditions are required. Although most seeds will germinate under different conditions, the plants or trees will not come true, as it is the quality of the seed that matters, not its age. Lotus seeds, as old as 2,000 years, have germinated as the quality of their embryo was preserved. Moisture or water is needed by the dried seeds to resume their cellular metabolism and growth. Moisture combined with warmth triggers growth, which is probably the reason why sown seeds should be kept in a warm place. Warmth increases humidity which ensures enough moisture to the seeds. The size of the seed and the depth it is sowed determines how quickly it will sprout through the soil. The larger the seed, the more energy stored in it, and vice versa. This is the reason why large seeds are sowed deeper in comparison to small seeds. Soil matters as the seed takes its oxygen from its pores and the right temperature will accelerate its growth. Whether a seed needs light, full or partial, or darkness to sprout depends upon its individual physiological need. The dormancy level of the seeds also determines the time it will take to germinate. Another way to germinate seeds is by growing seeds without soil. Germination of seeds. Once the conditions have been satisfied for the process of seed germination, it is just a matter of time that they turn into a seedling. Some seeds, especially the ones with hard coats, like the sunflower, morning glory, dates, acorn, corn, etc., need a couple of hours pre-soaking to speed up the germination of seeds. After the seeds are sowed and the soil misted with water, the water is absorbed by the seeds through its coat and provides moisture to the embryo nestled in it. This activates enzymes that help in duplication of plant cells and also gets them to use the energy or food stored in the seed to start nourishing the embryonic plant. With all the nourishment, the embryo becomes too large and bursts open through the seed coat in search of light to start its process of photosynthesis and thus the growing plant emerges. During the same time, even the roots sprout and head down in search of more food from the soil. Both the root and the plant shoot move downwards and upwards simultaneously and respectively. In no time then you see the seedling force its way through the soil. 
The seed germination process is amazing to watch and understand the way it reproduces and ensures its species survival. So go ahead and sow a few seeds and watch how life sprouts from the soil.